Hey guys! Welcome to our first episode of Snack! S N A C, and it stands for Sunday Nights After Church. Sunday Nights After Church, and we're going to have a spiritual snack. I got a question for you. What's the difference between a meal and a snack? Let me think about this. Well, I think a meal is larger and a snack is smaller. Sometimes, have you ever seen the size snacks I eat? You don't eat that big of snacks. Nah, I'm I don't. Bloody. But that's true. A meal fills you up. It's like to to help you going for four or five or six hours. Yeah. Snack is just to carry you over for a little while. Yeah. Some of you made it to Sunday school and children's church, and we won't see you again till Wednesday. So let's have a little oh, snack. snack. And you know what we're gonna have for snack for the next oh lots of weeks. What? Character traits. What doesn't, is that? Doesn't that sound yummy? What is that? What do you, what do you have? Buddy. I have a plate of character traits and a glass of milk. That's weird. Yeah, that's weird. Well, do you know what a character trait is? Well, I think it's like something that describes you. That's right. It's a word or a phrase that describes how you act, what you say, what you do. So not how you look. No, that would be a physical trait. Oh, so a character trait is like what on the inside. Character trait is your character, how you act. Behave? Yes, perfect. How you behave. And um, let's, well, we did this in children's church this morning to help the kids understand. What is one word you would use to describe me? Are you asking me? Yep. Okay. I would say about your character, it would be fun-loving. Fun-loving. Hey. That means you love to have fun. What's a word you would use to describe me? You can go ahead and send it to us on Facebook. Now, if you put bald, that's a physical trait. Or fat. That's also physical. Those are physical. Those aren't character. But if you said funny or a little sarcastic yeah. Handsome. That's or physical. Talented. And and if I were to think of one word to describe you, okay, for I my would character. say compassionate. That's that, a big, big word that means she's loving. Love and action. She loves every yeah, love and action. She's a nurse. She loves her kids. Oh, it's silly. She'll call me from the hospital and say, Oh, I have the cutest kid. She says They're that about adorable. all of her patients. Yeah. But she's compassionate. She's she's love in action. And you know what? As the kids are sending us words to describe us, yeah. I want to tell you something. You know that character traits can be negative? Oh, yeah, that's true. Like, you know, sarcastic is kind of one of those in the middle. Because yeah. sarcasm can be going too far and hurt people's feelings. But if you just have a little bit of it, it can be for fun. Yeah, if you're just having fun and being silly, you can be sarcastic. But not if you're starting to be mean to people. Yeah. Then when that's it, just mean. You're crossing a line there. Yeah, it's not like, sarcastic anymore. If you think of Darth Vader, a character for Darth Vader would be evil. Yeah. Except at the very end where he where he changed and he became good. So um, that's a character that's trait. That's a good character trait. A uh, character trait of, hmm, let's Are you thinking see. of something negative that no, you wouldn't want to have? a positive one Oh, now. a positive one. Kind. Kind, yeah, that's right. That's a really, really or good. Or cheerful. Someone that you like to be around because they're, they're happy and they give off happy vibes. Yes, yeah, so that's what we're going to be having for snack for I don't even know how long. Yeah, for a while. Six weeks, 10 weeks, 20 weeks, we'll 30 see. weeks. We'll see how long our yeah, snack Yeah, we're going to highlight a character trait, and hopefully that will help you want to use that character trait all week. Every Sunday night at 8 o'clock, and we'll keep it short so you can get to bed on time. I know, and you got your first day of school, some of you, tomorrow. Okay. So our first snack is... Obedience. Yeah. Oh no, that's Uncle a hard Buddy. One. Not that word. I don't oh. like it. Ah. Obedience. Obedience is a very, very good word. And you know what? Not just kids, but even grown ups have to and need to be obedient. You know yeah. when when but that's I was, a big word. What's it even mean? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about. My mom always said obedience is doing 
what you're told. Okay. When you're told. Sure. With a good attitude. Oh, that's the hard part. And that's all big. And that's that's the best obedience. You can still obey and not do all those things. Mm-hmm. But that would but be the best But it's not the best way. obedience. The Bible teaches a story about two servants. And the master came and said, hey, go clean this field or something. I don't remember what he told him. And the one servant said, no, I'm not going to do it. And then he went and did it. And so, the other servant said, okay, I'll do it. And he didn't, and he didn't do it. So which so one's which worse? Which one obeyed? Well, the one with a bad attitude, but the one that still did it. Yeah, he still did it. So obedience is doing what you're told. But the best obedience is doing what, what you're, you're told. told when, when you're, you're told, told with a, good, with a attitude. good attitude. Hey, it doesn't mean you have to like it. Right, but your Mom behavior... says, go clean your room. You don't want to clean your room, but you can go... Yes, ma'am, I'll go clean my room and go clean your room. Yeah. It's that simple. Now, here's something strange. What's the opposite of obedience? Mm, Maybe disobedience. Oh, that's too easy. I like the word insubordination. That's too big, Uncle Buddy. They talk about that when you're in the military. When you don't obey the people in charge, they call it insubordination. You're insubordinate. You're, you're not doing disobeying. what you're told. You're, you're not disobeying. doing what you're, what you're told, when you're told, or with a good attitude. You know what? We got a really cute video of some kids who give us three good reasons yeah, why we should obey. Yeah, good reasons. Really good. Let's watch that video and listen to these kids. Okay. And you see if you can catch all three reasons. Hey kids, you know how some things in life are really important? Things like eating your veggies, brushing your teeth, and wearing your seatbelt. Did you know the Bible tells us there's something that's more important than all those? Well, that's what we're talking about today. Kids should obey their parents. You don't have to obey your dog or your little sister. But you do have to obey your parents. Do you know what it means to really obey? It means when your parents tell you to stop doing something, like picking your nose or hitting your little sister, then you stop doing those things. But obeying isn't just stopping when you're told. It also means you go and do the things they ask you to do. Things like doing your homework or cleaning your room. Now, you may not always want to obey your parents, but here's three reasons why you should. First, because the Bible says so. Don't believe me? It's right here. Memory verse. Obey your parents, for this pleases the Lord. See, kids, it's in the Bible, so that means it's part of God's message to us. If God says we should do it, we should definitely do it. In fact, this is what the Bible says specifically to us kids. It doesn't say, hey kids, go get a job and be sure to exercise every day. It simply says, listen to your parents and do what they say. Second, because it pleases the Lord. That means it makes God happy. Don't you want to make God happy? We should all want that. It's what we're supposed to do as Christians. And if you want to be really good at making God happy when you're older, you should definitely start right now. Last reason, because it protects us. Let's demonstrate with this big hula hoop. It's a big O. O for obedience. The Bible says God's rules and our parents are there for our protection. So think of the O in obedience as a circle of protection. When we obey, we are safe. When we disobey, we are in danger. Stay in the boundaries your parents set and you're safe. Step out, you're going to be in trouble. Get the idea. It's for your protection. So remember kids, eat your vegetables, brush your teeth, wear your seatbelt, But most importantly, remember to obey your parents.
I liked the analogy of the O. Yeah, O for obedience. And then like thinking of it protecting you. You see, when you obey your parents, it's like there's a fence around you. Yeah. If you go outside that fence, then you could get protected. in big trouble. You could get hurt. But if you stay inside that fence, it's it there to protect, protect you. you. But you know, that was all about obeying your parents. Yeah. Does the Bible teach us just to obey our parents? I think we should look into that, Uncle Buddy. I think we should. Here we go. Really? First That's thing we should look we at. That's not how we look into it. Oh, we look maybe. into it by the Bible. Oh, we're going to look into the Bible. I have a verse for you to look up, Miss Amanda. It's John 14, 15. Okay. So John let me 14, find 15. that in the Bible. That's in the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. John. And it's chapter 14, verse 15. And this is what Jesus told a bunch of people. All right. John 14, 15 says, If you love me, keep my commands. That was short. Short and sweet he's and talking. strong. Jesus is talking. Oh. And he's the son of God. So it's the same as God talking. And he says, look. If you love me, if you love God, if you love Jesus, then you'll obey. You'll obey. You'll do what the Bible says. Yes. That's pretty clear. So we should obey God. God. Yeah. Um, another one is Ephesians 6, 1 through 3. All right. Let's find that one. Ephesians 6. That's just a little ways after Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, First and Second Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians. Yeah. All right. It says, children obey your parents no! in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. If you go all the way back to the beginning of the Bible in the second book, the book of Exodus, Moses was up on a mountain and God told Moses to tell all the children of Israel the fifth commandment was to obey your parents, to honor your parents. That's right. And then they said it again and in the New the Testament. And we did the sign language, yep. honored your Father, honor. mother. Right. And in the New Testament, they said, children, obey your parents. parents. So we're supposed to obey God and we're supposed to obey Anyone our parents. Anyone else? Good question. Let's look at Hebrews okay. towards the end of the Bible. Chapter 13 and verse 17. All right, let's see here. 13 verse 17 says, Have confidence in your leaders and submit to their authority because they keep watch over you as those who must give an account. Do this so their work will be a joy, not a burden, for that would be of no benefit to you. So we're supposed to obey our leaders. Well, who's our leaders? Who's our leaders? Well, let's see. Um, tomorrow morning starts school for a lot of you. Wow. Do you have any leaders at school? I would say your teachers. Yes, your teachers. And your principal. Principal, vice principal. Yeah. Your coach. Those are who are in charge of you at All your school. All of those school. would be leaders. Yeah. Now, you know what? That goes for grownups, too. Yeah, we have to obey we have our leaders. boss. We have our boss, policemen, yeah. firemen, doctors. Doctors, nurses, they're all trying to help us out and tell us what to do and we need to obey. Yeah. You know somebody that, that sometimes you don't really want to obey, but you should? The president. I know. Sometimes it can be hard, especially if you yeah. don't have the same views. Yeah, if you, it's, I'm not sure I believe what he's saying. Hey, the Bible says, look, you need to obey him because it makes his job easier. It makes him be able to do a better job. Yeah. When you obey your leaders, but little the people kids in don't charge, even have to think about that. Yeah. You know what you have to you worry have to about. Think about is your parent. Yep. Who's in charge of you or your teacher? Who says wear a mask, social distance, but all those fun things. Yeah. Obey, and and it'll help you. It will protect you. Those are people that we should obey. Yeah. You know what? And those are people that we can trust. But also we want to say, if someone's being real mean to you, you always tell a grown-up you can for trust. For sure, for sure. Go to a grown-up first. And don't just do it to get the other person in trouble. Do it because you want to help them. Hey, I've got something fun for us to do. I've got something called an object lesson Okay. that teaches this whole thing of obedience. So help us understand it a little easier. Yeah. This is not advertising, okay? Oh, 
Yeah, McDonald's. But I got a Happy Meal. I like, I like Although Happy Meals. I like meals. the Ronald McDonald house. Chicken nuggets are really good. Yeah. And I'm going to show you how this Happy Meal yeah, what's in there? is sort of like obedience. Yeah, our Happy oh, Meal. Oh, all kinds of stuff in there. Let's okay. see. Why don't you pull out something in there? Okay, I think I'm going to start with chicken nuggets. Ooh, chicken which nuggets. Which is what a lot of kids enjoy. Oh, yeah, chicken nuggets. Mm, 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 okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's say that your mom says, go clean your room. Okay. And you go clean your room, and you obey, and you do it right. That's like a chicken nugget. And you get to eat it, and you get and to enjoy tasty. it. it's tasty. Because you obey. Yeah. And that would be all the parts of the Happy Meal. Your mom says, go to bed. Okay, let's get another one out. Um, says, do it's your time homework. to do your homework. That's french fries. Yeah, and you and you actually do it. Mmm, yeah. Yummy. Anybody getting hungry out there? Um, Remember, it's a snack. Okay, let's see. Oh, do your homework. Clean your room. Okay. How about... Um, pick up your toys. Pick up your toys. Yeah, that's a big one. Lots of toys. Oh, let's see. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, a cheeseburger. So, cheeseburger. if you pick up your toys with a good attitude, it might taste like mm. a good bite of a cheeseburger. Mm, 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 mm. But because what happens? It's satisfying when you obey. If you disobey. Well, it I'll might not you. feel the same. It won't feel right, the so same. Let's it say, won't what was your first same. analogy, Uncle Buddy? First was a chicken nugget, yeah. and that stood for. Um, when your mom tells you to go clean your room. So okay. you don't go clean your room. Okay, so I, I decide I don't want to. You want to play a video game. And while you're in there playing the video game, why not? Oh. You see a video game. Wow, I didn't even remember I had that video game. And, and oh, here's my soccer ball. I'm going to play some soccer. Instead and of cleaning up. You oh, never wait, clean I've been looking for that doll forever. Oh, goodness. I think I'm going to stop and just play with the doll instead of clean my room. Oh, so there you have it. You didn't obey. Okay. And then oh, the next one. Do your homework. And you oh, say, I'll well, do my homework in a few minutes, Mom. I'll do it later. And you don't. Uh, I'll do it as soon as I finish this game. And yeah. you play two games. Hold that up. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I'll do my homework. Oh, wait. Somebody's at the door. I'm going to go play, play with them for a little while. Instead. And you don't do your homework. And then um, all of a sudden, oh, your favorite TV show's on. Oh, so, i got to watch that first. Yep, yep, I can't yep. do my homework yet. And then all of a sudden you get ready to go to bed and you still haven't done your homework. You right. haven't obeyed. You can okay. still obey and fix what it, if, but here we what go. What about going to bed on time? Oh, going to bed on time. Oh, five more minutes, Mom. Oh. Five more minutes. Oh, I, I got one. What you got? Mom's in the shower and I want to finish <sighs> this uh YouTube video that I love. Oh, yeah. So she told me to go to bed five minutes ago, but she won't be out of the shower for like 15 minutes. So. Oh, oh, you know, I got a good one. And this is one that's hard for adults because they say go to bed and you go to bed and then all of a sudden. I, I want to drink, drink a water. water. Okay, like, I'll give you a drink I'm of water. So now thirsty. go to bed. Oh, and my favorite, my all time favorite, they're supposed to be in bed. It's been 15 minutes, and all of a sudden they come out, and you're like, why are you out of your bed? And they go, because I want to say goodnight, and I love you. <laughs> That's a good thing, but Which you know really what? Which means I want to see what you're watching on TV. It's still disobedience. Oh, so, but then we might want to add a little bit. You got all those and you know what? I need say to you to go to school. You go down. to school, and your teacher asks you to do something. And, and you, you actually did. did. No, you, no, you did. Didn't. Because we haven't showed them the cho chocolate oh, milk. Chocolate milk. You did obey. Okay. So, yeah, your teacher said. Teacher says. Uh, it's time to write in your journal about what you did over the summer. And so, so you do it. Ooh. Yay. Chocolate milk. But let's say you open up your journal and you and decide to doodle and draw pictures. Instead and of writing. And you never it. write. Yep. And you were disobeying. Okay. Yeah. Yep. 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 There we go. Well, that's your, your, your disobedience. Okay. And when you don't do what you're told, it's mm. like you take all those things and you put them in a blender and you go. Okay, let's see it. You ready for this? Let's see. Oh, wow. That doesn't look tasty anymore. Yeah, so... That looks disgusting. All those things that could have been good... Tamp it down. All those things that could have been right, all those things that couldn't have been tasty, 
Uh, do we have glass somewhere? Oh. Well, this is what it looks like. Yeah. See oh, we've got a glass. It? Let's show you. We'll put it in a clear glass so you can actually Thanks. see it. You ready for this? Uh, oh. Look, <laughs> I have a Happy Meal shake. That is so gross. It's Uncle a disobedience shake. Anybody thirsty for disobedience? I don't I don't think so. Yeah. Here. I want to see how disobedience tastes. Let's see. I want to taste it. Oh. Oh. I think I got a piece of the cheeseburger. I need something to drink. That is oh. disgusting. I need uh, water. Yes, water, water. Pass it mm. over. Pass it over. You know, when oh. you don't obey... It's, it's like you take all those good things and you just totally mess them up. It's chaos. But you know what? Here's the neat thing. When you say you're sorry and you ask forgiveness, God can take all those bad things and, just and turn them back to good. Erase them. Just yeah. get rid of them and they're back to good. You know, That's an awesome we've superpower talked of God. about obedience and how important it is. And you remember the three reasons those kids said? Right. Yeah, Because it protects you. Uh, it makes God happy, and because God said so. Yeah. And we obey our parents, we obey our teachers, we obey policemen, we obey everybody in charge, and we obey God. Yes. Hey, that's a character trait. That's so a snack. So you need to practice that snack this week yeah. when you get on to do your homework and your online schooling or in-person schooling if you're fortunate enough. You do everything that you're supposed to do. Remember, try, try to do your what you're told when, when you're, you're told, told with, with a, a good, good attitude. attitude. Let's pray and ask God to help us to be obedient. Yeah. Dear God, thank you for loving us, and I pray you'd help us to be obedient. Help us to do what we're told when we're told and with a good attitude. Yeah, and that can be that you, hard. So yes. please just fill us up with your spirit and help us to do the things that you would want us to do. Help us at school. Help us at home to obey no matter what's going on. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hey, we've got something new that we want to introduce for you. Are you ready for this? It is just for fun. Just for fun. We've got some things that we're going to do just for fun. This is sort of like our random things. This is just for fun. Yeah. So we've got something we want to show you. We're going to start off tonight with two kids playing a game that has to do with character traits. Yeah, you have to choose which one you're rooting for before they get started. Yeah. Are you going to choose for the little one or the bigger one to get the game right? Yeah. And I think they have a thing where the loser gets hit with silly string. Oh. So here we go. Hey guys, I'm Vivian. And I'm Morgan. And, and today we're going to play a super fun game. Mm -hmm. So basically the game is we have we choose a character trait from here and we we describe the character trait to the other person and if they can guess it then they get a point and then if they can't guess it within 20 seconds the other person would get a point. And if you lose, you get silly string. We're going to do purple, and um, you have to wear these glasses while you get silly string. And if you win, you're going to get a trophy. And no cheating. So let's go ahead and get started. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. All right, timer. And go. Oh gosh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad at my mom when because you're she did angry. it. Angry. Yeah. Oh, it was angry. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So now I have a point. So it's one two zero. So now I get to choose. And I have to guess. I'm actually like start different this time. Okay. Ready? Okay. Okay, so I'm like super duper happy for this test. I have like a really good, determined, really good, um, happy? like, um, I'm really, really excited because I know that I excited, studied so like, hard. Uh, I've been preparing passionate? for this. I've prepared. No, I've determined. I've, just, I've been no, so excited for this test. <laughs> I don't know. What is it? Optimistic. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> what? No. Because I was optimistic that I would ace this test. Alright, round number two. It's two to zero. 
means. Pick up a dictionary, Vivian. Come on. <sighs> okay. Ready to start? And go. I know you ate my homework, Jimmy, but, you know. Forgiving. Happy, I'm so pepped up. Like, yeah, yay, yay, determined, yay, yay. happy. I'm so excited. excited. I am really happy. I get to go Joy? to the mall today, and I'm really, really excited for excited? it. Excited? Um, I just, I cannot wait. Like, I am so, so, just so. <laughs> it was cheerful. Oh. Man, I've gotten all the like happy ones. I know, and I've all gotten right, like so angry. now. <laughs> all right, since it is the third round and I'm winning and she doesn't have any, we're going to make points double. Okay, I got this. Come on, let's pick a hard one, Vivian. You got this. Do you know what it means? No. <laughs> you gotta try. No. You gotta try. Okay, okay. And no, I know it's go. I'm just kidding. Okay. I am helpful. And respectful. I am um, really nice to all my classmates. Um kind. And when my mom asked me Sweet, to clean up nice. my stuff, I cleaned nice. up. Oh no. What was it? Responsible. Oh, I was responsible? I was trying to go slow so I would get a point. <laughs> <laughs> Cheater. No, I wasn't cheating. I got All a right. point. So, so since no, we double. So. Do you think I know this? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 I think you will. All right. Oh, when will my friend be here to pick me up? I'm so angry. Just so mad. Ugh. Mad. Like. And then, and then also, my bus was late, and I was just... Oh, Ugh. stressed! Stressed! And I just, I cannot believe that like, they aren't um, here yet. Um, no, 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 I cannot, I just cannot, I just cannot. The timer didn't go off. <laughs> it was impatient. I said stressed. <laughs> Not the same thing. <laughs> Guess he's gonna get silly string. All right, so... The words that we had were impatient, cheerful, and optimistic. And I had responsible, um, forgiveness, and I think angry. Yeah. Mm hmm. All right. Put the glasses on. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Turn and face me, Vivian! <laughs> she has been silly stringed. And I am the champion. <laughs> I'm so mad at you. Alright. It's so cold. <laughs> Get over here. I can't see. Yes, you can. I'm just gonna. Oh my gosh! Oh! <laughs> Alright, let's just, let's just, yep, beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so, um, obviously, I have won this round. Vivian has lost, you as you can see. I, how did I cheat? I'm kidding. How did I cheat? Alright, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time, and don't forget to be your best self. Alright, guys. Yeah. That was pretty fun. We're going to do things like that just for fun. But now we've come to the last part of our program. And are you ready for this? Back a little bit so you can see. It's time for prize and size. Woohoo! Prize and size. Yay! Now here's what you got to do. You see the little thing on the screen? It says text snack to 859-240-0356. That's my phone number. If you text the word SNACK then whoever to that is number, viewing then you can win the prize. Get a reward. Now we have two prize wheels. One right here. That would be the prize or prize. the snack. 
And, here's and the, the second size. one is size. So I'm going to spin the yeah, wheel. Yeah, well, let's say what options we've got, Uncle yeah, Buddy. I'll spin the wheel for prize. She's going to spin the wheel for size. But we have things like chocolate bar. Yes, soda a pop. Soda pop. Donut. A donut, chips. Fruity candy. I did chocolate twice. Um, yeah, everybody most likes chocolate, chocolate. bars. A healthy, healthy snack. Yes, we got to throw that in. Like a carrot or a celery. Well, we'll see. Crackers. Crackers cookie. cookie. And ice, ice cream. cream. So I'm going to spin mine, this one. And, and mine. Anybody that texted snack to that phone number will win whatever prize I spin. Here's the catch. Yeah, mine is the size. So you could get a jumbo or a large or a medium or a small or a bite size. So you mean if I win a really big prize, I might only get a little bit? So say you got candy bar that said bite size. That would be one like this big. But if we got candy bar and it was like jumbo, then it would be like the pack of 10 or something so like that. So text snack to that phone number and that'll tell you that you get the prize. Here we go. I'm going to spin for the prize. Okay. Are we ready? Let's see. Oh, What's gonna it going to be? Gonna be? What's going to be? A healthy snack. Okay, uh, healthy, let's see. Okay, now we got to see what size okay, if healthy snack. this comes snack. up with bite size, that's hilarious. No, it's going to be jumbo. All right, Jumbo let's see. healthy snack. A what? large healthy a snack. A large healthy snack. So When you text you, us that, we'll let you know what the large healthy yeah, snack is. You text is. snack to 859-240-0356, and we'll tell you what the giant snack is. Now, here's the yes. thing. Come to church on Sunday, and we'll bring or the giant Wednesday. snack to you. Sunday or Wednesday. And or if you don't live it. near us, just let us know in the text, and we'll take care of it. But everybody who uh, texts that to 859-240-0356, Wins a, a large, large healthy, healthy snack, snack this week. Hey guys, we hope you had fun at Sunday night after church snack, and we'll see you next week at eight o'clock. Yes, have a we'll great see you first later. week of school. Yes, Love study you. hard. Bye.